Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how you can get all the empty folders from a document library. In this library I'll have different folders and some of them are empty. This one is uh, empty and here I have another subfolder that's also empty and these ones are not empty. So ideally these two folders, the subfolder 4 and this one here should come up in my flow. Just let's get started and let's get to Power Ultimate. I have this one here open in my other tab and I've already created a flow with a manually trigger. My first step will be to create a new variable. So we take the action initialize variable. It will be called empty folders and it should be an array because here I will save all the empty folders that the flow will find. Let's create a new step. Let's go to SharePoint. And let's choose the action get files properties only. On the site address, I will use the site where the library will be and of course the library name and here in advanced options I'll have to uh, use a filter query the filter query is fs object type equals one If you don't know what that means, you can uh, check out my other video. I will put the link in the description. Uh, but basically, this will give you all the folders from a document library. And when we have that, we can filter through all the ones that are empty. After that, I will create a new step with an apply to each uh, action. So, and this will be the value of my uh, items. Now I'll create another action, the list folder action. This one shows you all the files or no, this one shows you the whole content of the one uh, folder specified. So on the top, I will put in again the site address and now we need the unique identifier of the folder. As this is an apply to each function, put in this field here an expression and it's the item because this is the current item of the loop. Now we do a question mark, the brackets and this one here is called identifier. We'll click on OK. Now the loop will give me the list folder action for each folder that has been found previously. I'll add another action and this will be now a condition. In this condition, I will need to check what happened here in the list folder action. If the folder is empty, then the return result of that action should be empty. And with this information, we can create our condition. Here in choose value, I'll also go to expression and use empty. And then the body of this action. So that's list folder. And I click OK. If this folder is empty, then this expression should be true. If the folder is empty, then this expression should be true. And if it's true, then we'll add an action. I will use the append to array variable action. Then I will choose my empty folders and I will add an object to this array. 
my first will be the ID. For the value, I will use another expression, the current item. And the ID. Then I have to add a comma, another line. I want the name of the folder. Again, another expression, item. The name is in curly brackets. Another comma. And now I want the path. That one is also in curly brackets. So what happens now is that every time it finds a folder that is empty, it will add it to the array as an object with uh, different values that I give to him, ID, name, and path. I will close now here the apply to each action. And at the end, I will add a new step. It will be a compose action. That gives me all the empty folders. That is just here for test purposes so we can easily see how the output will be of the apply to each function. Now we'll go to test, manually, run flow, done. Now let's look at the result. It is the subfolder four in this path. And also here is the other empty folder at this path. And here I have my empty list. Of course, I can also turn this around and I only want the folders that are not empty. I go back to edit, apply to each, the condition. I simply set this one here to false and run this whole thing again. And if I check the result now, it shows me all the other folders that are not empty. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I could help you. And if you have any further questions, please just leave a comment and I wish you a great day.